somebody, it, it's going to be a bad day. If you get shot by somebody, it's even a worse day. Right? There's only one person in the world who get away with shooting someone else and having them apologize, and that's Dick Cheney. <laughs> right? <laughs> Sorry, I ruined your shot, Dick. That's all right. Right? So safety glasses, ear protection. Right? What, where would you use a safety harness? I'm going to make these up in a tree. Right? A lot of people around here like to bow hunt up in trees. Use a safety harness. There's no reason not to. If you fall out of a tree stand, that that it'll ruin your day. It'll ruin your day. And I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Like everyone else is gonna laugh at you. It's gonna be a bad day. Right? Forearms, firearm safety rules. Right? Treat never keep keep. Everybody knows what those are, right? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. All right. We may have gotta go over them. Stupidity and hunting do not mix. All right. If you are out there and you think, ah, oh, I'm gonna impress my friends. Hey guys, watch this. Something horrible is about to happen. Straight up, all right? Something bad is about to happen, all right? Drinking and hunting mix even less than stupidity and hunting, all right? So if you decide that you're going to go drink and then go just rifle off a couple of rounds down range at something, then you're probably totally wrong to begin with, right? Also, make sure, yeah? So what does treat never keep keep mean? Treat every weapon as if it were loaded, all right? Uh, never point at a weapon at anything you don't tend to kill. Keep your finger straight off the trigger at all times until you're ready to shoot something, and then keep it on safe. Right? There are some weapons out there that don't have a safety, but actually every weapon has a safety. It's called you. Right? They just don't all have mechanical safeties. Make sure you have a license. Right? If you think you're going to go out and just start popping off like, you know, like pheasants here in Iowa, they're going to get really mad. Really mad. Right? The pheasants or the Iowa? <laughs> <laughs> Right? No, so, like, 
Anybody uh, up in Wisconsin? Guy decided he was going to poach a turkey, took the turkey home, threw the turkey in his freezer, thought it would be totally cool. The turkey had a tracker on it. The DNR showed up. They're like, hey, we noticed this turkey hasn't moved from your basement in like four days. <laughs> no. Alright? They took his gun, they took like fifty thousand dollars, the truck he used to transport it. Uh, they repossessed everything that had been involved with that turkey up into the freezer and the turkey itself. Alright? And that was over a turkey. And there's a couple of slight things we're gonna watch from this because it's hilarious. <laughs> And it really just drives home the point. This, this first guy is, in fact, incredible. Okay, full screen, sir. Long with the Your hand is not 
not good for bait, all right? This thing called noodling, it's a thing. They go down south, down, it's only down south. I don't know what it is. Now. Is it? It's I didn't realize that I'd come that far north, all right? You hang your head underneath the water, you're underneath the water, and a whole hundred pound fish or bigger likes to grab on your arm, and you fight it out of its hole. Don't do that. Get a rod and reel and get some wood gear. Nice. Okay, do not drink and boat. If you are on the boat at all and drinking and then sit in the driver's seat, you can get what's called a BUI. That's what they call it in Wisconsin, boating under the influence. The Coasties will come get you, okay? And no amount of, hey man, it's cool, I'm in the Navy, or I'm in the Marine Corps is going to help you. They don't like you to begin with, okay? <laughs> and as you said, wear sunscreen all day. It'll reflect up off the water, you'll burn twice as fast. And if you're as pale as I am, it's gonna hurt. Around the house, lawn mowers, all right? Be careful. Don't stick things in outlets. Can't believe I gotta say that, but just don't do it, all right? If it's not, doesn't belong in the outlet or it's all bent or what, if it's being held together by electrical tape, leave it alone. Check the cords. Use a proper ladder. What's this? Sure, sure, sure. False. If you ask anybody in the Navy on a ship, sir, that's a ladder disguised as a chair. <laughs> Every time. What are you doing, FC? No, it's not. Right? For the DIYers, right? I'm one of them. Right? I do everything myself, unless it's like electrical, in which case, nah. Right? Make sure you know what you're doing before you get in over your head. If you need reasons why to do that, just watch a couple of shows on DIY Network, DIY Nightmare, DIY First Timers. Hilarious. They totally destroy their hours. Lawn care safety. The lawnmower is not your friend. Right? Child grown by lawnmower, Hardy County. Why you never run over a child with lawnmowers beyond me? Check your surroundings. Know what's there, all right? Pull the spark plug before you start working on it. If you're about to change out the blades, it's springtime. Time to sharpen them bad boys up, right? If you don't pull the spark plug and you start wrenching on that thing, it's a motor that spins. Just like an airplane, the old school ones, you get that thing turning, it will come on, it will take off your fingers, it spins really fast. Also, the weed whacker is the lawnmower's ugly cousin. What's up? You should also wear proper footwear when you... Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Wear my, the proper safety equipment. My uncle uh, lost like three toes yes. from the lawnmower. Yes. Right? There's a reason why at my house I put in bricks around the uh, stones, and that's because I took a couple of those to the throat. Oh, when I was out there trying to, you know, I had PPE on, right? I'm like, mm, this is fine. <laughs> and that was it. I'm like, nope, stone's going in. I went through a ton of effort so I wouldn't have to do that once a week. <laughs> right? Don't do it. Wear the proper safety stuff, all right? And by the way, the proper safety stuff is not tennis shoes, right? Find yourself a solid pair of boots to work out in, or to work outside in if you're doing that, all right? And that's all I got. Good afternoon, Battalion! Making, officers making the list of the good. What am I talking about for the rip? What is that? What does that mean? Guys, you got to see. Does weather affect your outdoor activities? Yes. yes. Why is that on this slide? You're going to do all the teaching. Why is it on this slide? One, because it's certain not certain winds or other crap is going on, on the other side of the ocean, not a tsunami or anything like that. But that will affect your rip current for the winds and other stuff. But outdoor activities in general, if it's lightning, you're not going to go in formation run with guidons. You're going to go without guidons, right? Yes. yes. So, everything we're talking about, weather has a big effect on what you should or shouldn't be doing. You don't want to go canoeing in the middle of a hurricane, tornado, none of that crap, right? Yes. 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 Sorry. All right. So rip current. Whoa! Slow down. What is going on over here? Wait. So here's the beach. We got the shore right here. We see it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The rip current is pulling you out. Who's going to the coast? Anywhere near ocean, possibly. Oh, wait, we're coast. Good. So, the shore, and then what it's going to do is it pulls it straight out to sea. The way you get out, you will never overpower that water. It's constant, there's no break in it. The way you get out of a rip current is you swim parallel to the shore until it's not pulling you out anymore. It might pull you out a good bit, but you're not fighting it. You're just coming out of the lane, and once it's done, you swim to the shore. Track it? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. So, along the shore, and get out of the way. Now go do the up top. We ready for my next slide? Yes, yes sir. sir. Bang! Up to 70% of water recreation deaths of teens and adults have all alcohol. We've already covered it. Should we have alcohol out on the boat? No, no sir. sir. Should we excess and alcohol at all? No, no sir. sir. If you're 20 and younger, are you having alcohol, period? No, no sir. sir. You can be needy and make some money because every time I need these people pay for me to get in and eat child, so that's how it works. True. Bang! Life jackets, we're going to talk about it, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. Here's 
responsible. If no one else is going to be in charge, you'll be in charge. Leadership opportunity, always. Carrier means of communication. Put your cell phone in a, in a uh, Ziploc bag. You may not have an auto box or anything crazy. Put it in a Ziploc bag. That's what I do. It's cheap. I can follow it when I'm done. Reduce your speed around people vessels. You don't want to be like the guy with a chopped up back, right? Yes, sir. If you're okay. swimming or diving, you don't want low visibility. If there's clouds out, you probably don't want to swim in the river with her wakeboard in or tube in or what do you call it, backs for skiing? Boom. <laughs> so around people, vessels in the shore, you got to be careful, especially if you're on the boat or if you're that person on the boat, some other thing. And then avoid excess of alcohol. Obviously, a different slide. Am I moving too fast? No. no, 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 no. Sorry. Good. Don't overload your boat. Man, we're gonna have a party on the pontoon. Where'd the pontoon boat go? <laughs> hey, and this ties in. We talk about PT and over the summer, right? Yes. yes sir. Sir. Got in PT over the summer, so you don't overload your boat. <laughs> All right? Yes, Don't yes, overload your boat. We're tracking? Yes, sir. Yes, 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 yes. All right. <laughs> you like that? I took like five minutes for you. Make sure you got the night gear. Oh, what? Yeah. So don't get hooked on fishing unless you're hooking fish. That is a Hey, right now we got a lot of small things that are that are hindering the battalion from being 100% in readiness. You'll figure out what that is in the moment. A lot of little things, a lot of accidents are happening. People aren't dying right now, but a lot of accidents kept people from the PRT PFT this morning. So, take a second, take a look along and do what you gotta do. And y'all on the boat, make sure you got the right equipment. I think I said Wisconsin, but they put Missouri in there. Yeah, no, there's no way. Alright, so, anyway, make sure you got the right gear. He doesn't have a whole bunch of stuff. He's got a fishing pole, so he's not noodling, but he doesn't have a paddle. He doesn't have a life jacket, he doesn't have sunscreen. He's not even using his eye, his eye protection. Garbage. Questions on that? All right. So, Tim Ways have fun on Clater Lake, wherever that is. Don't forget equipment. Accessible throwable device, light jackets, fire extinguisher, lights, whistle. Apple whistle. People, hey, people thought I was funny. I had a float coat. Those of you who have been on float, you know those are float coats. <laughs> I take my float coat, and now anytime I go out into the water, specifically the ocean, I have a float coat. A buddy says, hey, what's wrong? Psh, whatever. I could have it. I put my name on it. It's working. Anyway, so it's got it's got a dive pack in it, it's got a strobe in it, it's got a whistle, it's got a whole nine yards, and it doesn't inflate until I pull the string or you hit the water. So it's good. But and it's stern, so it's name right. So make sure you got stuff. Children under 13, make sure they wear stuff. Navigation. Be right, keep right. So if there's two vehicles coming, kind of like you're on the road, what side of the road are you on? Right side. Right. 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 Two boats coming at each other, what side of the channel are you on? Right side right. 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 Amazing. 50 foot rule. No way between docks, boats, and people. Yeah. What's a wake? What's that mean? Oh, they're gonna wake up, get out of rack. What's that mean? What is a wake? Behind the boat. That's the wave behind the boat. Good. We're gonna do Woo! Water ski safely, right, Baxter? Yes, sir. sir. Boom. We're gonna life jacket, right, Baxter? Yes, sir. sir. And not before sunrise or after sunset, right, Baxter? Yes, sir. sir. Good. Practice right, safe boating. No reckless operation of buoys. Yeah, use the buoys. Have lights. Boat. If you want to blow steps, whatever, do what you gotta do. But you should be out there. Like, the only time you can be out there is if you're maybe hunting early when the sun's gotta come up and your time's gonna start. Hunting, and when you're fishing, make sure you don't do anything crazy. Do not go by yourself. There's no reason for you to go by yourself. Have somebody there in case something happens to you or something happens to them, you can go for help. It's kind of hard to scream, none of you are allowed to do <coughs> Jet skis, look over your shoulder to show turn signals on, on the jet skis in case you don't know. You might do some crazy stuff this summer. Uh, no turn signals on a jet ski. If you turn a jet ski but you don't give it gas, it doesn't do anything because the jet of the ski cannot help you turn. Um, and then sunrise, sunset, make splash trash, don't litter. So, don't just put your pot can, your soap cans, fill them up with water and let them sink to the bottom, and that's dangerous. <laughs> and common sense, be curious, and then we go again, we got the navigation rules up top, get away, and 50 foot rule, talk about it, just keep talking about it. No diving, what does that mean? No, no diving. Right. What reference, what are we talking about? Pool. 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 Don't dive into the pool. I have, a, I have three friends, or acquaintances of my parents, because they're older, they didn't know any better, but they are in wheelchairs because they jumped in shallow water or a shallow pool and broke their neck or got paralyzed somehow. Do not dive into something you don't know what's what. And don't run around a pool deck. That's my son. That jump hurts. Run, slip, fall, go bang, scuff something up. All right, here we go. Last, any questions about what we just did? Uh, what did I talk about? So so talking about, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. talk about the boat, talk about the pool, talk about the ocean, talk about what else? Riptides. Riptides, yeah, that's the ocean. What else? No alcohol. Huh? PT. No sense of alcohol. No, no, no. Okay, on alcohol. Here we go. The first person to rearrange these numbers into the CDO number gets a $5 gift card paid by the CEO. I don't have my phone. But by the CEO. So if you think you got it, here we go. Man, if you got it, I want you to stand up. You got 10 seconds. Or how long is it taking? I want five people. Let's go. Rearrange it to the CDO number. Once you think you got it, stand up. You got it? Yeah. Okay. 
Hey, the first three are 515. I made up a number. Got it, got it. All right, who else makes the guy? Stand up. If you think you got it, stand up. I don't care if you got it on your phone. Stand up. Okay, good. No phone. You cheated. Sit down. All right. All right, here we go. The next number. If you, I want you to hold the first number up. Let me see. Hold your hand up. Hold your hand up. Hold your hand up. You said three. It's air code. Wow. All right, here we go. So if you're wrong, you're going to sit down. We'll figure out who gets this gift card. Track it? Yes. All right, you got to hold them higher if you don't count. What's the first number? Everybody. Five five. 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 Amazing. What's the next number? One. Oh man, what's next? Five. Five. Call me three. Oh yeah. All right. What's next? Whatever's next, hold your hand up. Oh. Ah. 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 All right. Here we go. We still got two in. We still got. In it to win it. Hold the next one up. He's got to put his up first though. So he's yeah. Now come up here. Come up here. Come stand right here. <laughs> come on. Right here. Right here. Back. We're short on time. You see how fast one is? Right here. Stand right here. No! I'm messing my slides show, man. Alright, you gotta hold that in front of you. I wanna, like, like, man, I want How many you got? Good? Yeah, like Whatever's that. next. Hold it straight out. Hold it straight out. Whatever's next. Oh! Alright, try again. This is boring. Nobody gets it. Get up there. All right, seven zero. So, all right, here. Boom, 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 boom. I'll give you one more time. Real quick. So, seven zero. <laughs> and then, boom, clear. Come on, there he is. So, seven zero, and then something, something, something. All right, you looking at it, Hosh? All right, here we go. Here's next. So, five. Everybody say it. Five, five one, one, five, seven. Oh, don't stop. Oh. Be with a clicker. Come on, man. Be with a Seven zero. zero. All right, hold on the next number. And that's the front.